Hello everybody, how are you guys? My name is Andrea and this video will be completely different from all the videos that I've made so far. I'm going to be showing you guys, or well, I'm going to be doing a what's for dinner and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top three favorite meals to make. These are my top three favorite, favorite, favorite meals and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be showing you guys chicken parmesan, grilled chicken and my beef and broccoli these are my top three for the grilled chicken you might think oh my god anybody can make grilled chicken but i've been doing this type of grilled chicken with a lot of lemon a lot of garlic and i just love it and i just want to share it with you guys so for the first recipe it's gonna be the grilled chicken so the first thing you do well the first thing i do for the grilled chicken is i get a bowl and i just squeeze some lemon in there i usually do one or two and then i automatically put my tenderloins you can use any type of chicken you want it's completely optional and i stir that for a little bit right after i automatically put my seasonings which is my first thing is rosemary I love rosemary. I started using it using it recently and it gives it such great flavor to the food as well. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper has been a new thing for me and I love putting it on grilled chicken or any chicken depending on how you make it. Some black pepper and some adobo which I like to use to give it some color and more salt and flavor. After I put all those ingredients, I'm going to give everything a big, big stir. And right after I give that a big stir, I put in my favorite, all-time favorite ingredient, which is garlic. Garlic for me is very key in my food. I love using it for everything, especially using it with this new little gray smasher that I just purchased. It makes me want to use garlic more now. <laughs> so then I squeeze some garlic there. I'm very generous with it and yeah make sure you mix it very very well and then I usually just stick it in the fridge for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour or however long you want to put it if you have if you're in a rush you can just fry that up right there but if you have some time on your hands just make sure you put it in the fridge for at least 20 30 minutes or more I like putting it for 45 minutes so after the 45 minutes have passed I automatically get my skillet and I put some oil and I let that simmer and get very, very hot. Um, I put my pan to medium heat. I don't want it to be extremely burning. And automatically, yes, I put some more garlic in there. And then I just um, make sure the garlic's a little bit toasty and it's hot. So then I put in my chicken. Once I put in my chicken, I leave it there for about maybe two to three minutes. And then I automatically flip it to the next side. Okay, so then I automatically took some of the juice out and then I obviously flipped it and that's completely optional. And then I put the I put it on a little bit of high heat and let that get very toasted. Not extremely toasted, but grilled. And then I leave it there for about maybe another two to three minutes until the chicken is very well cooked. So that's how it looks like when it's very well cooked and grilled. So after the chicken is completely finished and grilled, I start working on my salad. And I usually buy the salads already pre-made. And I like buying these at Publix or any grocery store you have. And honestly, it's just a matter of opening the bag and putting in all the ingredients. So I just grabbed a bowl and I just start putting in my salad and if you guys are interested in the salad i use maybe you guys have it in your store it's the fresh express kit bacon caesar and i absolutely loved this salad very simple and straight to the point so i just put my lettuce there it's already i actually um drained it and you know dried it up but i think it's already pre-washed but, you know, you wash it just in case. And I'm going to add my croutons, my bacon, and some parmesan, I think it was, that it brought. And some dressing. I love dressing on my salad. I can't eat a salad without it. I know it's bad, but yeah, I absolutely love it. 
right after I put in my dressing, I bought these chicken strips in BJ's. And it brings a pack of three. And we usually use these on salads. Oh my god, they're amazing. So I put them in the air fryer about two to three um, for like 10 minutes. And then I chopped them up very small to bite, like to little bite sized pieces. And I throw it in my salad. I just, you can literally eat that by itself just the salad and the chicken strips and they're very very affordable it brings three packets so this is the finished food <laughs> and i had some leftover rice that we had to use up and some avocado slices so that was the meal you can literally just eat it with the salad itself so next up is my beef and broccoli and Oh my god, this recipe, you can substitute the beef for the chicken if you like as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut my steak into little squares. Um, you, I used some steak that I bought in BJ's and right here I have three steaks that I'm going to be using for the beef and broccoli. And then I'm going to just keep... I'm cutting them into squares and then after that I'm going to be putting it in a small bowl and now we're going to get into the ingredients you're going to need to make this recipe. So the first thing you're going to need is one third of a cup of soy sauce, one cup of beef broth. Um, If you don't have beef broth in hand you can always use chicken broth. Three cloves of garlic and I'm putting a little extra because I like extra garlic in mine. Half a teaspoon of grated ginger, two tablespoons of sesame oil, broccoli or vegetable of choice, one fourth of a cup of honey, your steak, one fourth of a cup of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water. So I'm going to be using my Instant Pot for this recipe, well, maybe halfway because it actually kind of broke on me on halfway. And it's even brand new, so I'm going to be needing to buy another one or maybe even a crock pot. So, um, yeah, I would like for you guys to let me know what you guys recommend, an instant pot or a crock pot. And, yeah, so now I'm going to be pouring in my steak and the rest of the ingredients for the recipe. So in this con little container is the two tablespoons of water and then I just put the remainder of the soy sauce.
So now I'm going to be putting this on the Instant Pot for about 2-3 to three hours on low. So here is the beef on halfway. And right now I'm going to be adding, um, I'm going to be taking out some of the liquid and putting in some of the cornstarch. And I'm going to be giving that a mix. So after you give that a big, big mix, um, I'm going to be putting it back in my Instant Pot and then giving it a stir. So around this time is when my Instant Pot completely shuts down on me and I have to transfer everything into my stove top and I just cooked it on low and then eventually I poured in my broccoli. I always put in the broccoli when like 10 minutes before the food's ready because it, the broccoli cooks very very fast. So I like mine as well crunchy and yeah this is the finished food beef and broccoli you can also add some sesame seeds i just didn't have it on hand and this turned out amazing you can adjust the sugar and the salt i don't know if you guys noticed but i didn't put any salt because the soy sauce has so much already but you can you know you know it's your kitchen so you can do whatever you guys want and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed how this meal turned out Alright you guys, so this is the last recipe and it's the chicken parmesan and then the first thing you need is about 4 to 6, depending on your household, um, chicken thighs or chicken breast, whatever you like to use, some breadcrumbs, alfredo sauce, heavy whipping cream, cheese, noodles, and salt pepper to taste, and then oregano and whatever type of seasonings you like to add. So to get started on baking the chicken, I'm going to be getting two eggs and then giving that a big whisk. And I'm going to be gathering my breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, and I like putting some Parmesan on the breadcrumbs. I don't know. That's the way I've been doing it from day one, and it's just something I don't stop doing. <laughs> so I give it a mix, and then I grab my chicken breast, and I automatically put some rosemary, some salt, and pepper to taste. And then I automatically put in my chicken into the eggs, and then put it into the breadcrumbs. Alright you guys, so this is how it looks like when the chicken's completely breaded up with the breadcrumbs and the seasonings. And now we're going to get started on the sauce. The first thing I do is I grab the alfredo sauce and I pour it into the bowl. And then I grab the heavy whipping cream and I put it in the same um, jar. And then I shake that. I just put halfway and I put it back into the bowl. And then I get a whiskey, uh, whisker. And I whisk that up. end up adding more um, heavy whipping cream because I like it very smooth. Um, I also love adding in some Parmesan into the, into the sauce. And then I eventually put in some rosemary and some oregano for the seasonings. So now that I have my pan and I put some oil, I'm going to put in my chicken. And I have the stove on medium heat because I end up um, baking this. So I don't want it to get completely, completely cooked and dry. So I make sure it's um, cooked a good amount of time. So two to three minutes. And then I add some Parmesan while it's cooking. And I just love Parmesan on my chicken breast. <laughs> and then I turn it around. And that's the type of, like look that I want to get so I do the same thing to the other chicken breasts so that's how the chicken looks when it's done on both sides and now I'm going to get my baking dish ready 
um, to put it in the oven. So the first thing I do is I get some of the cream, the sauce, and then I put that a first layer and then I put in my chicken breasts. So then I put in all of my chicken breasts in the baking dish and then we're going to add some more sauce. And don't think it's too much, like it's like, trust me, it looks like a lot, but it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. I eventually put in more parmesan and cheese, and then I pop this in the oven for 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, you guys, so here is the chicken parmesan all done and cooked. And the chicken is very, very tender, and it smells amazing and very moist not burnt at all and yeah i absolutely love how this recipe turned out so now with the remaining of the sauce that was left over i i automatically added it to the noodles and just mixed that up and then it was ready to serve so for this dinner i actually actually packed lunch for my family and yeah that's how it looks like and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Please like, subscribe. And if you guys want to see more of these recipes, let me know. It will mean a lot to me. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, great weekend. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.